Hello everyone. Um, my name is Terza. I am 36 and I have two kids. I thought about making this video for educational purposes and because I woke up one day and I kind of felt like this is maybe what I should be doing for other women, for information and just because um, I am in such a unique situation. So a little bit about me. I work for a plastic surgeon. Uh, she's a reconstruction plastic surgeon. So she works with breast cancer patients. And when you find out that you have breast cancer, uh, she is the surgeon that does the reconstruction part of it. So I've worked for her uh, for close to five years. So I do know quite a bit when it comes to breast cancer and all of the options and uh, mainly the reconstruction part. I have uh, lumps in my breasts and I keep a regular eye on them. So uh, that means I do uh, breast exams and I also have ultrasounds that check them every six months. Uh, so typically uh, you would have an ultrasound if you found a lump uh, and they would determine if it's benign or suspicious or cancer, uh, just to kind of sum it up. So I have um, a few, they've been kind of called uh, fibrodenomas. They are basically just a benign tumor. So nothing to worry about. Some people get them, some people don't. Um, whenever I find one, I go for an ultrasound and then comes back, benign tumor, repeat the ultrasound in six months. So I do that. Um, sometimes I find new ones and then kind of start the process over have an ultrasound. Um, so I have a few on the left side. They wanted to do a mammogram so uh, they could see it a little bit better because I do have implants. So sometimes it's hard to see around the breast tissue when you have an implant. So a mammogram will sometimes uh, show you, you know, things that an ultrasound can't see. So a few years ago, I did have a biopsy on the left side. Um, and then at that time they put a, a little clip in so it clips into the benign tumor and then next time when you go for your ultrasound it's a lot easier for the tech to find it um, so that's kind of summing up how I you know regularly check and make sure that they are still benign and still good so recently um, it was about well it was last August so August of 2021 um, I was on a trip in Spain and I kind of noticed I felt a lump right here and it was a new lump um, and I can feel them because I have really thin tissue and it's kind of sitting like right on top of my implant so I knew that it wasn't my implant I knew that it was a new lump uh, so I came back on my trip got in had an ultrasound same thing um, just benign. Keep an eye on it every six months. So then six months later, uh, February of this year, I had another ultrasound. Same thing. Uh, they measured it. They said, nope, looks, looks fine. Repeat the ultrasound in another six months. So today is uh, June 8th, but I noticed in May uh, that it was definitely larger. Uh, I could feel it. It was kind of even sticking out of my tops. So I don't know if you can kind of see it, but if I push up, um, it's kind of hard, but you can see there's a definite lump right here. So I went and uh, had asked to get another ultrasound, even though it hadn't been six months since February. So on May 31st, I did go and get another ultrasound. This time uh, it came back and they rated it as a BIRADS 4C. So when it gets to BIRADS 4, it has a category of 4A, 4B, and 4C. So based off of, you know, size, characteristics, things like that, that's why they need to have 4A, 4B, and 4C, just because there are so many variables. So mine was a 4C, which is something that is right below uh, the next one, which would be BIRADS 5. BIRADS C uh, is a very highly suspicious for malignancy. So that means that there's a 76% chance or higher that this one is actually cancer. 
So today is June 8th. Uh, it's about just eight days after I had my, my mammogram um, and they are sending me for a biopsy. So pretty good uh, to get in within a week. I'm gonna just kind of document all of it. <laughs> I hope it's nothing, um, but there's a good chance that it is. And because of my job and my profession and everything that I know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty aware of the risks. So I, I'm gonna just document it and be real with you because I feel like a lot of women go through this and there's so much information and it's stressful and you know, you're on the internet Googling things and even me, I'm, I'm Googling things and I'm panicking and then um, I just wish there were more women that were maybe more open to sharing their experience, talking about it. Um, every woman will obviously have a totally different experience, but maybe this will relate to someone as well. And um, maybe it will bring more awareness for women to definitely check their, their breasts and do breast exams and not be scared to bug your doctor and say, hey, I, I feel something, it feels weird go get it looked at because an ultrasound is, is super quick and super easy. So I'm going to try to document as much as I can. I'll try to take you with me today to the Breast Health Center. Um, they're going to do the biopsy. Hopefully I can, you know, record it for everyone who's kind of interested in how that works. Um, but yeah, so just wanted to kind of take you along on the journey with me. 